Clive, this, is this one of the most popular models of IM Cabar feeds we've got here, the HD? Yeah, this, this is the flagship model. The Boss has been the longest designed model that IM can have. Uh, and it goes, it crosses over now between sliding head and fixed head. So they do two, two models now, a 338 and a 552. Why, why, in your opinion, is it the most popular? Uh, a, it's been around the longest. Secondly, it's, in its class, it's the most rigid of the bar feeders. And, and now they've made it even um, better designed with the, the HD model. Crazy question, but why does rigidity matter in a bar feed? Well, with a three meter bar spinning around 12,000 RPM, you need to be making sure you've got that securely in your bar feeder. And how do you get that rigidity with this unit? So, okay, so this one is a steel beam construction, which goes right through the core of the bar feeder. The thickness of the beam and the rigidity of the design gives it the complete rigidity right down the length of the bar feeder. And with a bar feeder of this length, what, what's the, the biggest bar diameters you can go up to? On this model, 52. When you say this model, you're talking about this specific one here or the Boss in general? The Boss in general. They have two models, up to 38 millimeter, for, mainly for sliding head, and then up to 52 up for fixed head. What's, what's the mechanism, what's happening in here as we, as we see it? Just talk us through the, the, the pushing of the bar and so forth. Okay, what happens is this is on a demo mode. So you'll see that normally on the front of the pusher, you'll have a gripper collet, which grips hold of your material. So you'll change that over for different material sizes. So what's happening now is, as it feeds along, it'll feed along, feed along, until it tells the machine it has no more material left. Then it will come back. It will bring, come down with the clamps, eject the remnant into the toolbox. It will then check it's gone open the channel when it's safe, and it will preload the bar with a small pusher and measure the bar at the front of the bar feeder. Once it's got to the same position, it'll come back, the grippers will come down, put the new bar onto the pusher, and then feed it into your machine. What, what's, the, what's the benefit to having a longer bar magazine like this compared to what we see in the UK as a popular short bar feeder? Well, the main, the main is the return on investment. You'll never get a return on investment on a short bar feeder. So the long bar feeder, on a, a normal eight hour shift, you'll probably see a return on investment after three years. Um, um, and how does that happen? What, 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 what's the, uh, the key characteristics that give you that return? Okay, so the key characteristics, you buy a machine tool on a, based on a cycle time to keep your machine running for as long as possible. So for the full length bar feeder, you have one three meter rather than three short pieces. And those, so your machine is running for longer, you have one bar change. And then your capacity, your magazine capacity is so much more. So your lights are running, or if you prefer lights are running, is much, uh, more productive than a, a straw one. That, that's, in, that's an interesting one. There's also more uh, to it, like the wastage of, of material as well. Yeah, we, we, we have a return on investment sheet I can send to any customer, and you put your own component in there, your cycle times, your bar, your material, and it will give you what you're saving after on an eight hour shift or a double shift, whatever. But the remnant is only one piece. So not only on a short bar do you have to cut up the three lengths, somebody has to carry it, put it on the bar feeder and a saw. You've got three pieces of material going into your machine tool. This one you have one piece coming back into a remnant box. And like you say, you can load more bars on so you can leave the machine running for longer. Yeah, absolutely. The 52 has a 300 mil capacity uh, magazine. Is this just applying though to people that are doing longer production runs? No, 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 because the way they've designed it now, the HD model, even the subcontractors, the change over time, if you're changing from one bar to another with the same guide channel, is less than a minute. It's a very interesting concept because I would say more often than not people opt for short bar magazines, but they, they could be making a mistake, couldn't they? I think they're making a major mistake, if I'm honest. Uh, I've just written an article putting those facts across. You know, you consider, put a lot of consideration into the machine tool and then just tick a box for a bar feed. I'd like to finally ask you, there are uh, various bar feed manufacturers in the market. IAMCA is a very, very big name, uh, the, the biggest in the world. How have they become that? What, what's the differences and, and why are these bar feeds so good? Okay, I think from 1961, when they put the first bar feed out on the market, they've continued with their research and development, as we'll see later with the other models, the way they've gone with the health and safety with the ergonomics and so on and so forth. So the research and development, and they have another department here, which we're not allowed into, by the way, um, you'll see in there the next range of bar feeders are already being designed. And because people do pay a lot of attention when they're buying a machine tool to the speed and the manufacture of parts, cycle times, um, this, this has got to be a big factor as well, isn't it? The bar feed, the speed of the bar feed, the reliability, what you can do. Absolutely. All of that is taken into account. But you're coming down to parts of a second now. The, the, the 338 now is the fastest bar feeder in the world. So they have now produced the feeding time on sliding heads to less well, almost zero, which, which on our sliding head, as you can appreciate, is probably uh, a, a massive bonus. And these can be uh, fitted to any machine tool, any brand? Any machine tool. So the boss swaps over for sliding head and fixed head. 
And as you get to the bigger machine tools, obviously there's still fixed head.